Martin, one more time. Special shout out to Wayne Miller and the Sprinkler Fitters for having us here today. Let's hear it for them. And we have a special guest back here. We have the president of the uh, Plasters and Cement Masons, Pat Finley. Pat? Let me ask you one question. Are you sick and tired of people sending our jobs overseas? Yeah! Are you tired of them attacking our pensions? Yeah! Are you tired of them trying to take our union and our voice away? Yeah! Well, we got four days left to work to get back because on November 2nd, it's our turn for payback, right? Yeah! Are you fired up? Yeah! Listen. For the last couple of weeks, money's been pouring in here from unnamed sources from across the country. Carl Rove and his unnamed sources think they're going to buy this election from us. No. Are we going to let them buy Pennsylvania? No. You better believe we're not. Listen, for every dollar that's come in here, we've knocked on the door. We've made a phone call. We've passed out a leaflet. The American labor movement and this group right here is going to be the difference between us going forward and them trying to take us backwards. And we got a team of candidates that's going to do that. They're going to fight for workers. They're going to fight for health and safety. They're going to fight for the right to bargain. But we have four days that we have to work and get every last vote out. Are you willing to do that? Four more days, are you? Listen, brothers and sisters, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Because you've turned a race around that they thought was going to be a walkover. They tried to destroy everything. They tried to stop every program that we, we had to create jobs and to defend working people. They wanted to get you angry. They wanted to get you mad. They wanted you to sit home frustrated. They didn't want your vote. They wanted you to sit home. But because of you, but because of your efforts, because of Labor 2010 program, we've energized those voters, and they're going to come out and vote. And on Tuesday, we're going to take back the country and the state, right? Now, I get a great pleasure right now. I get to introduce the person who's going to be the next senator from the state of Pennsylvania. Listen. If you want somebody who's going to vote for, fight for jobs, if you want somebody who's going to stop the outsourcing, if you want somebody who's going to protect pensions, if you want somebody who's going to fight for health care, fight for a good education, protect police officers and government workers and state workers, then the guy that I'm about to introduce is your man. If you want a strong defense, a nation that's protecting us, then Joe Sestak is your man. He's our man. He's our friend. Give Joe Sestak the next senator a round of applause.